question. This question is about metabolism. Now, we're going to talk about how urea is created. Now, it, this is where we got the guy here who wants actually want to pee, right? So we have our body, in which our intestine and our muscles are creating different types of molecules that need to be going through the recycle to make urea so we can get, get rid of urea, which is a waste toxic for us. We can also create this in our labs. Now, we're going to look more into the urea cycle and what is necessary for it to actually happen. Now, the urea cycle is actually happened to be in our liver. Our liver is the place where you're breaking down and making urea. Now, in order for this to happen, you need to get ammonia, which is an H4, and some other amino acids, as you can see here from ammonia, and some amino acids that will be used in this cycle to create urea. Also, you're going to need carbon dioxide, which you will see how carbon dioxide is also added into this urea cycle in order to make urea. Now, why are we talking about this? Because we have to understand some words, the big words, such as metabolism, condensation, reduction, anabolism, hydrolysis, oxidation, and catabolism. These are all big words, but really, they're not that hard to understand. So, metabolism consists of all of these guys. It's basically all the type of reactions, chemical reactions that happen in your body. If you're breaking things or you're making things, it's metabolism. Now, let's look at each one of these words. The first one is condensation. Condensation, it means that you're making a molecule. Reduction is when you're adding an element or molecule to something else. And that together makes anabolism, which is also making a molecule. On the other hand, you have hydrolysis, which the word lysis means cut. So hydrolysis, which is using water to cut things, it's usually to break molecules. Oxidation means that you are taking an element or molecule out of something. And then in hand, all of this is catabolism, which is breaking a molecule. Now, all of these reactions happens in our body every single day. You're making, you're breaking things. And together, that makes our metabolism. So when we go back to analyze the urea cycle, we can see there are some things that are coming in. That means they're joining together to become something. And something is coming out to break into two pieces. So there is things making and breaking. Now, since we learned these different words here, which are right here, we can add it into this urea cycle. For instance, catabolism, which we understood that it's breaking thing. If you noticed here, arginine is, arginine is breaking down between urea and enomintine, right? So this means it's a catabolism. At the same time, if you remember, oxidation says here you're taking out an element. So if you're taking out that arginine urea out, this is also known as oxidation. At the same time, you have hydrolysis, which hydrolysis, it's breaking down into pieces. So arginine is broken down into two pieces, so that will also be hydrolysis right here. Well, condensation, on the other hand, it's actually making a molecule, right? So you can see the ammonia and carbon dioxide coming in to form citrulline. In this case, it is a condensation right here. Now, what do we do with that? We place it up here and can show that it's condensation, which is the same thing as anabolism, which anabolism is also making. So you're making a product right here. It can be at this side, or it can also be citrulline with ammonia turning to arginine. That's anabolism. Now, you're adding an element, such as this one, right? Ammonia is coming to be added to citrulline to become arginine. And if you go back here and say that reduction is the addition of elements, such as this, or molecule, so that means reduction, this one right here, it actually can fall right here too. So, if you look at the overall of the urea cycle, you can see that there is hydrolysis, which is catabolism. You got oxidation, which basically you're taking an element out. You have condensation metabolism, which you're adding to make new things. And you're having the adding of another molecule here into a process, which is reduction. So all of these are included in the urea cycle. So the right answer to the question is metabolism, because metabolism is all of these reactions together working as one. So to make this guy go to the bathroom, 
you're actually having a metabolism happening in his body to produce urea. So once again, the answer is metabolism.